fabric that illustrates spiritual truth? Check this out. Do you believe I can print this card out of my phone, pull the card off the screen and give it to you? I'm gonna give you this card. I have nothing in this hand, nothing in this hand, but I'm gonna give you this card, you ready? That's for you. <laughs> what, your phone doesn't print? No, it Neither doesn't. does this one. <laughs> Let me show you another trick. Read those triangles nice and loud. Paris in, in the, the spring. If I'm reading that right, bird in the, the hand once in a lifetime. You got the first two correct, you missed up in the last one. Once in a, a lifetime. Yeah, you're better than most. Okay, let me show you another way you might be being deceived. Okay, another magic trick. Are you a good person? No, I'm not. Okay, let's take a test to be sure. Have you ever told a lie? Yes. What do you call people who tell lies? Liars. So what are you? Liars. Okay. Have you ever taken something that doesn't belong to you? Yes. What do you call people who steal? Thieves. So what are you? I'm a thief. You're a lying thief. You're right. You're not a good person. Yeah. And if you die today, if God judged you, would you be innocent or guilty? And should God let guilty people into heaven? No. So where are you going if you died? Not heaven. That's right. You said it, not me, right? So do you know how to go to heaven? I do. Tell me. You, nobody goes to the Father except if you go to the Son. Okay. Give me a more concise statement. What do I, what's, the, what's the action you need to do? What? You need to repent. Okay, that's half of it, but you've missed the most important part. Do you, it seems like you are slightly familiar with the Bible. Yes. Do you know what it says in John 3.16? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. What's the action word that you need to do? Believe in Jesus. That's right. So how do you go to heaven? By believing in Jesus Christ. Yeah, and Jesus is God, right? Mm -hmm. Can you believe in a God you don't obey? Doesn't make sense, right? So it's repent and believe. It's that simple. Mm -hmm. Have you done that? Have you truly repented of your sins and made a commitment to believe and obey Jesus? No. no. What are you waiting for? Nothing really. When are you going to die? Only God knows. Could it be on the way home? Could. Yeah. Are you ready to seriously lay down your life and follow Jesus right here, right now? I am. What's your first name? Angelina, let me ask you four questions and I can pray for you to receive Jesus. Is that okay? What was that? Can I ask you four questions and then pray for you to receive Jesus? Is that all right? Yeah. Do you acknowledge that you sinned against God? I do. Do you believe Jesus died on the cross and, and paid the penalty for your sins on the cross? I do. Do you um, believe He rose on the third day? I do. Do you commit to believe and obey Jesus forever and ever? Let me pray for you. Heavenly Father, Lord, would you please receive Angelina into your kingdom? Would you please save her by the power of the gospel and the power of Jesus' blood? Please fill her overflowing with the Holy Spirit so she can obey and lead a new life. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Angelina, do you realize I have zero power to save you? But Jesus has all the power. If while I was praying or while we were talking, you made a true commitment to obey Jesus and to believe in Jesus and what he did for you, you're saved. And if you're saved, you're going to change, okay? You're not going to stay the old Angelina, okay? So two things to watch out for in your whole life. You continue to believe the gospel, the good news that Jesus died for you and rose on the third day. The second thing is that you continue to grow in holiness. What does that mean to grow in holiness? To grow in holiness, that means to... <laughs> well, to me, that's more like, you know, you stay on your path with Christ. Mm -hmm and let Him fill you with the knowledge and the mm -hmm. wisdom that yeah. you for. You're sinning less and less. You're obeying more and more. You're loving God more and more. You're loving people more and more. God is changing you into a person that's more and more like Jesus every day. That's growing in holiness. If you do that, plus continue to believe the gospel that Jesus died for you, you have every reason to be sure that when you die, you're going to go to heaven. Okay? So that's how you know. So what city do you live in? San Gabriel? San Diego. San Diego. Do you go to church? Sometimes. So, uh, when you do go to church, is it a Christian church or a Catholic church? It's a Christian church. Good. So start your obedience by going to church regularly, at least once a week, maybe more. I'll give you a phrase, okay? Read, pray, and obey every day. Read the Bible every day.
pray to God every day, obey God every day, every day. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So, um, who, who is this young man here? I'm her fiance. Her fiance? Awesome. Are you a Christian? I am. Um, tell me how to go to heaven. Repent from your sins and you try to live in a way that pleases God. That's it? My knowledge, yes. Can I tell you something that's shocking? I don't mean to insult you, but you're not a Christian. Because repent is not the gospel. The gospel is repent and believe in Jesus. The way to go to heaven is to put your faith in Jesus. John 6, 47. He who believes in me has everlasting life. So how do you go to heaven? Believing in God. Jesus is God, but make sure it's the, the Son. Because lots of people believe in God in general, and they're not saved, right? Jesus died for you, okay? So for instance, Jews believe in the Father but they don't believe in Jesus, the Son. They still need Jesus. Otherwise, they're still headed the other way. Mm -hmm. You see, you didn't understand the gospel, that it's faith in Jesus that's how you're saved. Okay? Um, another verse is Acts 16, 31. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. You see how it's over and over. Let me give you, what's your name again? Ray. Let me, let me put your name into John 3, 16, right? You, you recited John 3, 16. But for God so loved Ray that he gave Jesus that if Ray would believe in Jesus, he won't have to go to hell, but he can go to heaven. Mm. So how do you go to heaven? By believing in Jesus. Right, repenting is not enough. Mm -hmm. That's half, it's like one side of the coin. You don't have the other side, you don't have a coin, of course. right? So it's repent and believe in Jesus. Now you know how to go to heaven. Are you ready to make a commitment to follow Jesus? Because now you know. Of course. So can I pray for you? Of course. I have to ask you four questions. Do you agree that you sinned against God? Do you believe Jesus died for you on the cross? Do you believe He rose on the third day? Do you commit to obey and believe in Jesus forever? I do. Heavenly Father, Lord, would you please help Ray to be saved right here, right now, by the power of the gospel and power of the Holy Spirit. Fill him overflowing with the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. So look, literally, if you truly made a commitment to obey Jesus and to believe in Jesus, you both just got born again right now. Now you can marry and, and become a, a Christian couple. Okay? Now I'm going to say something that is none of my business, but I'm going to say it anyway, okay? Because I feel like I have to. Um, Jesus said if you look a, at a woman to lust after her, you've already committed adultery with her in your heart. Okay, that's in Matthew 5. So let's say Jesus set the line at even looking, that's, that's sexual sin. Where do you think kissing and touching falls, on the good side or the bad side? Well, the bad side, right? So if looking is, is a sin, kissing and touching is a sin, right? Of course. So I don't know what you guys did, I don't care. But from this point forward, you're now Christians. You're going to obey Jesus, hands off, lips off, okay? And save it till marriage. Got it? Got it. And if she's the right person for you, he's the right guy for you, after pastoral counseling, get married. Don't wait. Mm -hmm. Right? And invite me to the wedding. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. Okay. Six so, eight. That's the first thing. Yeah. January 1st. Okay. <laughs> it's easy to remember. My name is Tony. My email's in there. Okay. If you have any questions, email me. Start going to church. Read your Bible every day. Pray every day. Obey every day. Okay. Um, 